Welcome back. In Rwanda, cows are a status symbol, but what they leave behind is devastating for the environment. What methane released from cow dung is 22 times more harmful than carbon dioxide. But this very same methane can also be used for good. As this report from the International Fund for Agricultural Development explains, a new African invention uses local materials to create cheap, portable and simple biogas di digesters. Uh, this not only turns the dung into gas for cooking, but also changes people's lives. In Rwanda, cows are status symbols, but what they leave behind is one of the principal causes of global warming. In fact, methane released from cow dung is 22 times more harmful than carbon dioxide. But this very same methane can also be used for good. A new African invention is cheaply and simply turning this dung into gas for cooking and at the same time changing people's lives. Three years ago, Pacific Musabimana was left an orphan. 25 years old, with six brothers and sisters, as well as her own three-year-old child to look after, she was finding it impossible to cope. Life was harsh. I had to farm, provide for the whole family, and make sure the children attended school. It was all too much for me. But everything changed for her when the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, joined forces with the Rwandan government to promote the use of clean, renewable energy in the country. Pacific was selected as one of over 100 poor farmers to try out a new system called Flexi Biogas, designed by Kenyan company Biogas International. These simple, economical and portable systems are particularly suitable for remote rural areas. They can be transported by bike or donkey, and installation takes just a few hours, as IFAD's renewable energy officer, John Delacroix, explains. It's very easy. With one car and this Flexi Biogas, which is easy to, to install, to repair and maintain, you get enough gas for cooking and the biosolary, which is a good fertilizer for your farm. Now, every day, Pacific collects dung to feed her digester, a six-meter-long PVC sack. Inside, organic waste heats up, ferments and releases methane gas, which is piped directly to her kitchen. From the other end comes a potent organic fertilizer, which improves soil fertility without the use of chemicals. Pacific uses what she needs for her vegetable patch and sells the rest. She is not only reducing damage to the atmosphere, but also saving time and money. She used to spend about two hours a day looking for firewood. Now she has more time for her chores, and a smoke-free kitchen makes cooking a healthier activity. With an average annual consumption of one tonne of wood per person, cooking with biogas greatly reduces deforestation, soil erosion and gas emissions. As part of the package to promote clean energy, Pacific also received a solar panel, and this gave her an idea of how she could raise some cash. I realized I could transform this electricity to something profitable. So I bought a converter and a kit to charge people's phones. So now I can say having electricity is very beneficial. With electric light, the children can study in the evening, and thanks to the money I make charging phones, I can buy them school materials as well as soap for clothes and other items. With the success of the first test of the Flexi Biogas system, a further 200 will be distributed in 2015, with a plan to manufacture them locally, creating much needed jobs while also promoting renewable energy solutions for a cleaner future. Well, that report was from the International Fund for Agricultural Development, a UN agency.